It's about time trademark symbol. The measure of engineering success of any loudspeaker is its verisimilitude to acoustical, unamplified music in a loudspeaker. There are two terms that describe the essential character of live music, dynamic contrast and harmonic expression. In order to achieve either of these, a loudspeaker must be correctly aligned in the time domain. Most designers understand the importance of flat frequency response accuracy in the spectral domain. Some also tout the importance of phase coherency. An aspect of music reproduction that blind empirical testing has shown to be less significant than accuracy in either the spectral or temporal domain, seemingly, very few truly understand the importance of the time domain, in addition to linear frequency response, preserving tonality and the complex textures of musical instruments requires the accurate preservation of temporal coherence. Subtle microtiming clues, which are created by a variety of structures and spaces, are inextricable to the true nature of an instrument. It is the relationship of these overlapping waveforms in the time domain that produces an instrument's tonal signature. If accurate reproduction is the goal, it is vital that the timing relationships between these closely spaced contributory sounds are preserved. Ongoing research has confirmed that the ear-brain mechanism is much more sensitive to timing coincidence errors than once believed. Indeed, timing accuracy is as important as frequency response accuracy and far more important than phase coherence. Ordinary people can hear timing coincidence errors as small as 10 millionths of a second in the 5 to 10 kHz octave. Most multi-driver speakers with fixed, flat baffles, positioned perpendicular to the floor, are incapable of correct alignment in the time domain. On purely geometrical grounds, most loudspeakers of this type introduce timing errors on the order of hundreds of microseconds at the listener's ear. The master chronosonic is capable of driver-to-driver -driver time domain accuracy, heretofore possible only in the theoretical domain. Via the master chronosonic micrometer system, module movement is refined down to a previously inconceivable 2 microseconds, 2 millionths of a second, per adjustment increment. The hallmark of the master chronosonic's technical Achievement, and the principal factor central to its unique ability to sound, utterly lifelike, is the master chronosonic adjustable array. GAN experimenting with adjustable modular arrays. Empirical listening combined with careful measurements revealed that the ability to adjust the loudspeakers, drivers within the time domain, specifically as it related to aligning the leading edge transients of each of the individual drivers, was critically important. He realized that even tiny errors in the alignment of the drivers in relationship to the listener caused obvious sound quality degradation. Through the late 70s and into the dawn of the 80s, he continued to explore these ideas as well as modify and evolve his loudspeaker prototype. During this time, Dave applied for and acquired a patent for adjustable propagation delay loudspeaker arrays. More importantly, he continued to develop and refine his proprietary method for the accurate measurement of time domain deviations. By late 1981, his hard work had culminated in the form of his first assault on the state of third of believable music reproduction. He called his new loudspeaker the Wilson Audio Modular Monitor, the WAM. The WAM was a multimodule loudspeaker, each module physically adjustable in relationship to the other modules in the time domain. It was the physical manifestation of Dave's theory surrounding the lifelike recreation of music to call the original WAM a breakthrough is an exercise in understatement. Range design. In order to achieve Dave's design goals, it was decided that an all-new approach in the area of bass drivers was needed. The design imperative was to maximize transient integrity, speed, and bottom octave extension. The all-new 10.5 and 12.5-inch woofers were designed from the ground, up to complement each other, specifically addressing the challenges. Presented by using two woofers with different diameters in a single enclosure. These new woofers incorporate all of Wilson's cumulative on, accurate and musical low-frequency music reproduction. The master, Chronosonic's heroic bass enclosure, with its unmatched ability to control and eliminate unwanted resonances, is the ideal platform in which to mount the master Chronosonic's bass drivers. Midrange, Wilson's MTM configurations, which feature time domain, adjustability, have always been far more sophisticated, complex, and musical than competing designs. Rather than mounting the three drivers that make up the MTM in a flat baffle, each driver is mounted in its own module. The modules are, in turn, adjustable relative to each other, which facilitates alignment in the critical time domain within the loudspeaker array. 
Another advantage to modularity is the ability to optimize the construction of each module with the specific combinations of composites best suited to the needs of each driver. Led by Dave, Wilson Audio's engineering team reimagined the MTM geometry for the Master Chronosonic. The mid-range is divided between two drivers, a 7-inch and 4-inch for both the bottom and top portions of the MTM array. Each of the two drivers cover a portion of the mid-band area. The 7 inch is a bespoke, modified version of the celebrated Wilson Mid, first introduced in the Alexandria Series 2. The 4 inch is an eminently musical driver that covers the important upper mid range area up to the point where it crosses over to the convergent synergy tweeter. The frequencies covered by the two drivers are therefore both expanded upward and downward in frequency when compared to previous Wilson designs, the two together covering a broader portion of the mid range. Furthermore, each driver is optimized for the portion of the midband best suited to its unique strength. Dave masterfully blended the two sets of mid drivers, ensuring that they perform seamlessly and coherently to GEF. 0.5 degrees, which improves the time alignment of the woofers in relationship to the listener's position. The open architecture of the Master Chronosonic's upper gantry minimizes stored sonic energy behind the upper modules. The resistor access panel features a new approach with improved access. The resistor heat sinks are custom built for the Master Chronosonic, each chosen for its combination of sonic and thermal performance. Even the fabric grills that optionally cover each of the module's drivers are hand built using ultra low acoustical impedance material. The rear firing module is optimized for ceiling heights, normally found in domestic environments, and increases spatial retrieval and overall resolution. The tweeter was specifically designed for this application. It utilizes the rear wave chamber from the Convergent Synergy 5 Malawian Kwachas tweeter. The 5 inch mid range was also specifically developed for this application. A new system of cable dressing, which features rotary cable tensioners, makes its debut in the Master Chronosonic. While the new system is beautiful, the design was engineered to reduce the deleterious effects of magnetostriction. Similarly, custom-made enclosure breach point hardware, which terminates each corresponding cable into the rear of its respective enclosure, minimizes wire connection points throughout the loudspeaker system and reduces degradation throughout the wired signal path. Aerospace-grade aluminum, the infrastructural gantry supporting the time domain adjustability, the master chronosonic micrometer, is constructed from aerospace-grade aluminum. One of aluminum's virtues is modulus of elasticity. This quality, combined with relatively low mass, resistance to corrosion, and low toxicity, make it an excellent material to form the adjustable support structure for the modules, ensuring that the overall rigidity of the module launch points is maintained. Because even the best aluminum is not well suited for driver interface or module damping, the master, Chronosonic employs Wilson's composites, X W comma, and S materials in these locations. The aluminum is finished in a beautiful prismatic machine pattern, calling to mind the galosh finish of the finest Swiss watches. Dave Wilson was animated by an unquenchable curiosity, which, in turn, fueled his boundless yearning for discovery. He spent the better part of his adult life engaged in the difficult and demanding work of turning his intensely ambitious dreams into remarkable physical creations. He was obsessed with the sound of live music. Throughout his career, he always asked these important questions. Why do certain transducers sound more like the live musical event? What was it about certain combinations of cabinet materials, crossover elements, and drivers, and even the geometric arrangement of those drivers, that produced an intellectually convincing and emotionally satisfying facsimile of live music, somewhat unique in the high-end loudspeaker world, Dave was a natural scientist. He was dedicated to the rigorous application of the scientific method. Much of his success came from his ability to design testing protocols to best answer these questions. Dave understood that the veracity of any given theory was inextricably tied to the result it produced. Put simply, if it sounds real, the science is real, 